What is up, fam? It's Josh Southern Afro Life. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I got a couple announcements. One, I got a whole bunch of new equipment. I got a SLS camera. I'm almost done with my portal box. I'm waiting on my new spirit box to come in because uh, it's my old one stopped working. I was having issues with volume and then it just it quit working all together, so they're replacing it for me. And second, I'm posting a bunch of clips I took from this investigation that I went on. Turns out it's the Everglades Rod and Gun Club of Everglades City. And this place is like the most haunted place I've ever been into. And guess what? If you ever wanted to go on a paranormal investigation with me, now's your chance. Because they're giving me the opportunity to take teams of three or four on a 45 minute investigation every Saturday throughout the month of October. And it's, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure what the ticket price is going to be. I'm not not doing ticket prices. That that's up to all them. And um, whew, mosquitoes are bad out here tonight. But pretty much, I'm gonna post all the clips up. This place is super creepy. It was built in the late 1800s and turned into Everglades Rod and Gun Club in early 1900s or so. But there's been deaths there. There's been all, all kinds all kinds of scandals and stuff. There's been murders. So you guys aren't going to want to miss this. I will be going back to do a full-on investigation. I only got maybe about an hour of investigation in over there. But man, we had EVPs, we had uh, EMF readings, we had all kinds of stuff going on. So it's, it's really exciting. You guys are going to like this one. But alright guys, take care. I'll see y'all later. There is a place in southwest Florida where it's still the 19th century. It's called the Everglades Rod and Gun Club. From the outside, the Everglades City Rod and Gun Club looks simply like an old white lodge. But when you open the doors and walk inside, you're suddenly walking through a time capsule filled with Victorian furniture and taxidermy from when the building was a playground for the wealthy and the powerful. Over the years, five presidents have stayed here. FDR, Truman, Eisenhower, Hoover and Nixon, actors such as John Wayne, Burt Reynolds, Sally Field, Sean Connery, Danny Glover, and Joe Pesci. It was originally built upon a foundation set by the per first permanent settler who founded Everglades City in 1864. In 1922, it was purchased by Baron Collier, a wealthy rancher and industrialist. Collier turned it into a private establishment for his wealthy sportsman friends. During the next half century, the Rod and Gun Club in the Everglades City saw booms and busts, along with the rest of Florida. In 1972, it was purchased by the Bowen family, who still own it today. They've closed down the top two floors of the main building and kept the bottom floor open, with a restaurant, great room, Victorian sitting rooms, and a general store. The Bowen family agreed to allow me into the areas of the building that have been closed off to the public for decades to investigate the paranormal activity that they encounter. It is said that in the upstairs room that once held card games, the player did not like the outcome of the game, shooting and killing one of the players. He died from his wounds on the floor that is still there today. The construction crew working to restore the upstairs were forced to quit working due to the amount of activity they encountered. The upstairs is still unfinished to this day. The ice house out back was also the scene of a brutal murder when an argument turned deadly between the clerk and fisherman. A man also died in the pool after leaving the bar and never making it to his room. They found him floating in the pool the next morning. We will be going back to do a full investigation, but here's what happened in our short time there. Sound like Bobby, look out. Does anybody here? You can talk into that box. And we'll hear you. Victor, if you're still with us. Can... Oh. <laughs> That's it. No, thank you, sir. So much coming through right now. Really? Is it you talking to us?
Thank you. Did you die in this room? There we go. Can you communicate with us through this box? Very nice. 